Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make AI animated movies with same plus and characters. So for this video, we're gonna focus on this AI called Artflow. And this should be the landing page you should be seeing on your end. This is the link right there. You can post a video and copy the link so you can see this landing page on your own. Now once you're here, you can have two options, actors or characters. So we're gonna focus mainly on characters and deal with actors at the end of the video. So please stay until the end. So make sure you click on characters first and then create new character. Now before you proceed on this one, I'm gonna ask you kindly to open ChatGPT. Let's go in ChatGPT right now. And currently I'm inside the free ChatGPT version. You can use any AI tool you want as long as you can create a short version story of an animated movie. Now this is mine, Tony's Discovery. So I have, I think, four scenes right here. One right there, two, three, and four. Now, the purpose for this scene or script, if you may, as a reference, you won't get lost when you build up your movie. However, for consistent characters generation, it's not really important. This is just additional information for you guys. Anyway, let's move on with the AI earlier. Now once you're here, simply click on create new character. Now we're gonna describe Tony now. So based on my chat GPT script earlier, Tony is a scientist, a builder, a mechanic. We're gonna resemblance that one. Let's just say right here, a gentleman, or rather a handsome gentleman, with that one, with a beard, with glasses, and a lab coat. Let's try this one right here. Now, I made this prompt to make sure I have a guy that has a beard, with glasses, and a lab coat. Now, I made it just to make sure I still refer to my story. Now, exclude from images that this are just negative prompt. For example, I'm gonna type in, let's just say, blurry. I'm gonna type in pixelated. I think I'm good here. One more thing for noise. And add consistent face. Now, for consistent face, you're gonna choose a face here if you like. Now, I'm trying to get this image right here. This Robinson. Because a mechanic looks like this, right? So you have a choice here if you want to click a um, consistent face. If not, it's perfectly fine. And also, you're gonna see this actor option. So we're gonna create this option at the end of the video. So please stay until the end. Now, I think I'm gonna use this one just for our reference. And click on generate. Now this will take some time, I'm gonna get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Now I have this photo right here. I think I got it perfectly right, especially with this consistent face. And that's one tip for you if you want consistent characters, make sure you add a consistent face. That's just a tip. Anyway, I'm gonna finalize and save this character right now. I'm gonna name it Tony. Now save character as of now. And right now I have a character to work with. And once I have a character, the magic begins here. I'm gonna click on those three dots, generate images. And now once I'm here, I'm gonna generate images based on that photo from earlier. Let's try this one. On this option right here, you're gonna have a general portrait. That's just the sizing and this is also the aspect ratio. Directors mode is new. Now this is gonna be basing on how you position your image. For example, you want it on the left side, as on the sample right here, you can do so. If you want it farther right or zoom in, you can perfectly do so or scale it. Pretty awesome, right? Now I'm gonna enable this one for us to properly do it. But before doing that, please fix your prompt. So this is the prompt, and then make sure you're gonna mention Tony as it is. So I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT now. Now once we're back here, we're gonna take in the first scenario this is the only use for the script even if you don't have a script it's perfectly fine you can just made up or make up scripts of your very own but for this one the first script is tony is a brilliant inventor uncovered an old blueprint in his cluttered lab so i'm gonna go back on the ai and i'm gonna type in with this one tony in his lab with a lot of papers and blueprints let's try this one and now I'm gonna type in exclude from image. I'm gonna type in noisy and then pixelated. I think that's perfectly fine. 
and enable director's mode. Now once I have enabled director's mode, I can just simply place my image. I can enable it, for example, I can mid shot close up. I think this one right here mid shot is perfectly fine. And then twist it a little bit, looking on the left. I think that's good enough. And then this option right here, describe first character, if you have more than one character inside your image. But since I only have one, I'm gonna rename this as it is. Describe your background. I'm gonna type in in a laboratory. Like so. I think I'm good here. Now once we have it right there, did I spell the laboratory wrong? Sorry about that. I think I got it lab. I'm gonna go for lab. Laboratory. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm good enough here. Let's now generate the image. So this will take around a few minutes. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Now we have four results right here. I think I'm satisfied with this second one right there. You can click more and you can make a variant, create a video with this image or download watermark without watermark rather. But this is for premium users. I think I'm just gonna click right there and then I can save it as it is. So save image, image as. However, you're gonna save it as a web file. And that is not good here. You want it as a JPEG. So how can we use this as a JPEG? A pretty simple tip for you would be printing the screen. You can either do this, make sure everything is covered, save it, and then proceed on desktop. I'm gonna name this one in a second here. I'm gonna name this one Lab1. Click Save. I think I have everything here. Or click on that button right there. But for this one, you need to upgrade your plan. Pretty awesome, right? So these are the difference prices. You have the free starter pro. And the difference is that this is gonna be my current plan for the free trial. Now, once we have it right there, you can animate it simply by this button right here. But before animating it, we need to create one more just for discussion purposes, okay? Now I'm gonna create on, or go back to chat GPT. So let's go back on chat GPT after generating a few here. So here's the one from earlier. I generated some more just to see the consistency and trust me, those are the consistency we're looking for, right? Even though they're male and female, but if you check on the male, we have the consistent characters we're looking for. Now I wanna go back on chat GPT and check my script. So with this one, we encourage friendship, Tony embark on a quest to save the realm on his own. Basically, Tony has found new friends and discovered that has another quest rather than just being a scientist. So let's try on the AI. And with this one, I'm going to remove the inner laboratory and generate a new one. I'm going to say with this one, Tony found, let's just say found new friends. Or rather, let's just say here, instead of working in the lab, I'm going to type in Tony working in a garage. And then I'm going to go back on this director mode and describe first character. I'm going to type this one in a field or rather in a garage. I'm going to make this close up or mid shot. Place it right there. I think this is good enough and click on generate. However, I saw this one option, add a style. I think I'm going to go or change it for cinematic or digital art or just rename it at the same to get consistent characters. Now, while waiting for this one, let's tackle this few generated options because I really want to animate right now. But I'm going to wait for the last few photos and I'll get back to you once they're here. So welcome back to the video. Here's our new prom right there and perfectly right here. It's in a garage. And if you can ask me, we have very good consistent characters here, especially the face is just one. I think I'm going to use this for photos just for animation. And again, if you want to save them, the one I taught you earlier, if you can save this on this button right here, because it requires paid version, just do a snipping tool and screenshot it. I think for this one, I'm going to click animate right there and then choose one more to animate. However, for this one, I'm good with it. So here we have it. Once you click on the animate button from earlier, we're going to redirect on this website and you'll see every image you have generated from earlier, every consistent faces. Just ignore the girls right there. Those are just um, the cons or the limit of this AI. However, regarding the male, we have very good consistency. Anyway, click on that button to disable animation. 
or enable a voice record. I think this is the scene. And then type in what should the character say. Just type in whatever you want here. I'm going to type in hello. I am Tony. You can preview the voice if you want. You can choose a voiceover. If you want English or any other language, just please do so. I think I'm going to go with um, Everett right there. Use this voice. And since it's added, we're good here. Now after enabling Everett, I'm going to go with the scene right here. I think I'm good enough. You can add some more shots right there. For example, just click on the plus icon, finish the shot or remove it. I'm just going to click the images right there. To start, pick an image from the asset panel. So I'm just going to choose an asset panel right here. I'm going to go with this guy. And then with that, I'm just going to interchange it. I think I'm just going to go with two shots right there to make this very simple. For the second one, I'm going to type in this exact um, script. This is my laboratory or lab. Please be careful. Once we have it, of course, choose the same voice. If you use the uh, Everett from the first shot, make sure you use Everett all throughout the video. This is going to be kind of weird if you don't do it as you do so. So character, you can add some more, but since we already have an image to work with, we're going to be good here. FX, these are just filters. I suggest don't touch this one or you can zoom out. But I'm going to satisfy myself with this exact prompt right there. So scene, I think everything is good. We have a scene, we have image, we have a voice, we have a script. Now I'm going to export and animate. And this will be 4 seconds. So I'm going to click it right now. And right now it's currently exporting. I'm going to type in a title. So exporting will create. A new animation of your story, ready to share with others. I'm gonna type in a title right there. Give me a second. So this is Tony. So the title will be Tony's Life. I'm gonna click on export video right now and wait for the magic to happen. I'll get back to you once it's here. Now, of course, while waiting for the first video to finish, I'm going to show you another way or process to create videos or animate your images we created earlier. So once you're on this tab, make sure you click on Video Studio. You can create create new video right here. So after clicking that create new video, you're just going to redirect on this platform where we were earlier. So I think the one I used earlier, the first part, is much faster. Just go back from the earlier part. I'm just going to click that. I'm going to wait for my video to finish generating. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Here's my proper generated video right there. Click the three dots if you want to delete, edit, or send. Let's try clicking right now and see if we can view it. So let me just pause it and try to capture the voice. I'm going to check my recording if I have voice input. Click it right there and play it right now. Hello, I am Tony. This is my lab. Please be careful. And there we have it. Let me just remove this capture. Perfect. Now, that is a pretty good voice. However, we still have the watermark. If you want to remove this, please go to the paid version that I showed you the prices earlier. So simply click on download if you're satisfied or download with the caption or remix. This is a new feature in Artflow. You can edit the video one more time on remix, but for this one, it is the paid version feature. Now, before we end this video, I want to show you one more thing. Let's go back on our flow. Remember, as I promised, once you're still here at the end of the video, I'm going to talk to you about actors. So actors are basically the same as characters. For this one, we're not going to use prompts. The one we're going to use is actor. So you can click on that one. You're just going to choose male or female, adult or child, actor name. I'm going to type in Tony and drop some images right there. So I'm going to drop everything here. Like so, uh, the minimum is 10. So I have four, I need six more. I think this is it. And with that one, simply click on the upload the list and image, give it a second, and start training. So, welcome back to the video. Here we have Tony right here, there. And please tell me that is not Tony Stark, right? So, I'm gonna click on the three dots if I want to create image with this actor, or click the bottom right there. So, if you click on create image, Basically, we're just proceeding with the things we did earlier. 
and these are my creations right now so this is the superpower from earlier this is working tony inside its office and please tell me that is not consistent characters pretty awesome right especially this one right here it's like dr strange and tony stark all together i love this photo very much because it made look tony working in the office however if you check on this fourth one this is not same consistent character so we found the limit in, con con in continuing usage you can see that some features are not um, consistent however majority they're consistent okay and that being said simply repeat our steps from earlier simply click on animate and you'll be good to go and basically that's it so thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye for now